Is this the best card index on the market? Well, today we find out. G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Stumped. How are you on this absolutely beautiful Tuesday? I hope you're having an incredible day doing whatever you're doing because I know you're here because you have burning questions about what was released less than 24 hours ago. I'm talking about Dex, baby. And ever since then, a lot of you have been bombarding us with questions on whether this is the fastest index, how thin it really is, how much does it weigh, what, how does it compare to other indexes out there? So today, we'll answer all of those questions. Now, before we get into the full breakdown on everything that you need to know about DEX by Lloyd Barnes and Javier Fuenmayer, I do want to tell you about this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the Javier and Lloyd bundle, stick around to later on in the episode where I show you how to enter that giveaway. Now, to kick off this episode, instead of watching the full trailer, let's check out another full performance of DEX. Roll that clip. And as you see, I just continued on with another trick. So we just did it with any other trick. Pick a card, change it into that card. Because magic, yeah. And then... Magic trick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> let's pick, can you start to shuffle those for me? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite playing card? Playing card? Like, yeah, like one of those. Do you, which one's your favorite? Like a stew? Or a card. Any, Any card. Like not an ace, because everybody I, thinks of an ace. But... <laughs> you, 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 the king of hearts. How come you chose the king of hearts? Is that like your favorite card? I guess, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I see the first one? Yeah. Look, check it out. Inside this deck, oh, because the, the swords, but yeah. this is the principle of the blue card is actually an Amusu card here uh, is red, all except the one. Would you be in Tasta Zabal Yeah. The king of hearts? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So, oh, oh, <laughs> the only one you could have named absolutely any card, but something was calling you to name that card, right? Yeah. I, I don't know why. Get, get, thank you. Wait, do you think it's a YouTube or something? Yeah, uh, it's my name, Javier Fuenmayer. Okay. F U E N M A Y O R. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Alright, so explain what happened. Dude. <laughs> it just looks so clean. So I can't wait to dive into the explanation and check it out. And what better time than right meow. Now full disclosure, before I watch this explanational video, I have actually held decks, which we'll get to later on in the episode where I got it taught for the first time, but I have not seen this instructional video yet because I know I'm in the instructional video because they teach it to me from scratch. So this is the first time I am actually watching the explanational video. <laughs> I'm so excited. Now, after I've typed in my password into the website, I'm redirected to a new page that has all the explanational videos. Now, these are broken up into different volumes, which is super, super handy. Now, I can see off the bat that these volumes range from about an hour to two hours long, and I have an interview and a frequently asked questions video with Hav and Lloyd in a couple of hours. I need to dive in right now before that live. Let's do it. Hello, gentlemen. It's so good to see their beautiful faces. Oh, I love that routine. That routine is real. Oh, well, I'm definitely going to tell you about this routine later. It is so good. So good. Oh, these are clever cookie boys. These boys are very, very smart. Hey, Andrew Nana makes an appearance. So good to see you, bud. So good to see you. Oh, Andrew, that is smart. Ooh, baby. Ah, this is a cool way to use your decks. Very cool. Here he is. What a handsome lad. Don't mean to talk about myself like that, but there you go. You got to do it sometimes. <laughs> okay, see you later, guys. Oh, that was so good. Uh, okay, there's so much to go over here, um, but I literally, in, what is it, 20 minutes, I have to have an interview and a chat with Lloyd and Javier live on YouTube about Dex. So this kind of helps. I'm going to cut the video here, go do the FAQ with these guys and talk about everything Dex and then come back after the live and do the full breakdown. So I'm gonna have more information for you, which I can't get wait to get into. So I will talk to you in just a little bit. This portion of the show is brought to you by the inflatable magic wand. Just blow them up 
and watch the fun. Oh, that live was exceptional. Uh, everything that you're going to learn in this breakdown is a shortened version, I guess, of that live. So if you still got burning questions and I haven't fully answered the question that you have wanted answered, make sure you go check out that live card on screen right now. Check it out straight after this episode. It's over an hour long and we go over absolutely everything. But right now, let's get into everything that you need to know about Dex by Lloyd Barnes and Javier Fuenmayer. Kicking it off with the tutorial itself, how does it look? Well, what you're seeing on screen right now is exactly how this looks if you were to watch it at home. Now, everything is broken up into different volumes, which makes it super easy to understand and follow along, which is really good because the whole explanation itself goes for about nine hours long. This includes obviously the full performances, when they teach me the effect, and all of the effects broken down. Which is why these different volumes are really handy to break down different parts of your learning experience into different segments. Now let's have the first question, what is DEX? Well, it's an index. Now if that's all you need to know and you're going, hey Bo, shut your mouth, I don't need to know anything else except for how expensive is this and where can I pick it up? Well, good news, my friend, you can pick it up right now for $74.95. There's a link in the description below right now to a magic shop, or you can get it maybe worldwide at your favorite magic shop. I say maybe because we actually have sold out here at Murphy's. We've got maybe two to three months before we renew at this very time. So when you look back, if you're watching this in three months time, we have it back in stock. But as of right now, we are sold out. And I know quite a few other magic shops are sold out. So if you're arming and ahhing about this, you're either happy to wait three months or pick it up now and don't miss out. But yes, link in the description below right now to a magic shop. I'll actually list a few magic shops around the globe that I know have it in stock. Now you may be thinking, Bo, this looks exceptionally hard. I need to be an expert level magician to pull off these insanely beautiful effects. Well, absolutely not my friend, myself, I don't know much about indexes. I know about indexes, but I haven't used them a lot. And I learned it from a complete beginner. So you only need a skill level of a beginner magician to do this. Now more on me learning this, I was actually at the Murphy studio and Javier come up to me and said, hey Bo, have you seen Dex yet? I said, I know what it is. I haven't seen it, I haven't touched it. I don't know anything about it. So he said, cool, hit record on a camera and we went straight into it. So the first time on that video you see me holding decks is the first time I've ever held decks. It took me about 30 minutes, I think, to get it down. Obviously we're recording it and chatting back and forth on the processes. So I probably could have got it a little bit quicker, but it was really, really good to be handed decks and go over it all then. So some insider knowledge on getting decks for the first time and never handling it before, it was really quite clever and easy to pick up on the different uh, ways you could perform this. By this, I mean either using a chaste or which Lloyd used in the live uh, chat we had just before, the hydraulics method. Now, if you're familiar with chaste, I'm sure you're picking up what I'm putting down right now, but hydraulics is the hearts, diamonds, clubs, spades variation. But having said that I picked it up in about 30 minutes, I would not go out and perform this live straight away. I would definitely want to sit down and practice this more till I had it extra smooth. Now, when you first open that beautiful Dex tin, what do you find inside? Well, you find your absolutely gorgeous Dex utility device and also a nice instructional card. This will have your password on it and the website and QR code you need to learn everything that you need to know. Now, what's the Dex gimmick like? Is it durable? Is it gonna last me a lifetime? Well, it is exceptionally made. The guy's been using this for over thousands of performances from when they were routining, practicing, uh, testing this on the streets. It's lasted them, they, they, they said they haven't got a blemish on theirs. They even said that you could actually run over it with a car and still be absolutely fine. Although I highly recommend not running over your decks with a car, but you could if you really, really wanted to. Just make sure it's not in your pocket when you do. Now this next question is a question we got asked quite a lot. How much does Dex actually weigh? Well, down to the nearest point of a gram, it weighs 65.9 grams. And just to put that into comparison, a deck of cards weighs about 97 grams. Which leads on to the next question, how thick is Dex? Well, Dex at its thickest measurement is when it's fully loaded at 24 millimeters wide, while a deck of cards is just 20 millimeters wide. So in a size comparison of the difference between the two, a Tic Tac 
it's just six millimeters. So it's thinner than a Tic Tac. So very, very close to the thickness of a deck of cards while it's in its box. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to give you enough information here without giving away too many secrets on why Dex looks like a slimline wallet in your pocket and not a deck of cards. Now let's answer the burning question, is this the world's fastest index? Well, this all comes down to you, the operator. Because this is actually a manual device and not mechanically driven, it comes down to how quick you can get into your pocket. But this isn't what Dex is about. To be honest, Dex is about having your finger on that card in the blink of an eye, which you can do. You get down into your pocket and you can find out which card you need to be on like that. So while it's not about getting into your pocket, grabbing that card and getting out, because that would honestly look kind of super sus if you were performing for someone and went into your pocket like that. It's more about getting your hand into the pocket, finding your card and being ready to go after your spectators finishing shuffling a card or thinking about a card, you've already got your finger on that card in cop ready to bring out. Or if they're taking that extra sweet time shuffling that deck, you can already have your hands out, folded and ready to go into the next set of your routine. But me personally, after I finished learning it after about 30 minutes, I was taking about four to five seconds on certain cards and maybe about 10 seconds on other cards, but I'd only just been learning it for about 30 minutes. So I hope that kind of puts it into perspective for you. Now, while 10 seconds seems like a long time, that's again, because I just learned it. And also by routining, if I were to perform it, I would go over my spectators and say, okay, so you chose a, a, a black card. Uh, you chose the high cards. You chose the 10 and you chose the club. So the, we, we have the 10 of clubs at the end. That gives me about 10 seconds to have that card out. Now Dex, what kind of cards does it use? Can you use your regular deck? Absolutely, you can use your regular favorite deck and it's actually stored horizontally. So it's easier for you to get into palm to bring that card out. And not only does it handle poker sized cards, but also bridge sized cards. You can also use it for billets, uh, bills, and a lot of other things, which the guys actually do teach on the explanation. Now the reset time, this was a big question that you guys asked a lot. We actually did this live on the Q and A. We had the guys do it a couple of times and then reset it. Have actually did a four card reset and it took him about two to three seconds to reset it. Lloyd did a one card reset and it was literally a second. And with Javier's reset, that included him pulling it out of his pocket, resetting it and putting it back in. Lightning fast. Will you be performing decks? Well, that is a good question. This is meant for your close up walk around magicians at tables, if you're doing strolling, even if you're doing stage, this is a really quick, easy way for you to get into your pocket and take out whatever you need to in a moment's notice. So I could see this being used everywhere that good magicians perform card magic or any kind of magic, because again, you don't need cards to use index. Hey, index. Hey. Now, how does this compare to other indexes on the market? Now, this is a really, really tough question because other indexes out there are either double pocket indexes or folded card indexes. It's just, this, it's really a different species of index. Ultimately, this just comes down to you and the research that you wanna do on your index. Do you wanna use two pockets? Do you wanna use one? Or do you want to use a half, a half deck index or to have your cards folded in the index? What do you want? Now, having said folded card in your index, Dex also allows you to Mercury card fold the chosen card like that. So while it starts out complete and unfolded in your pocket, by the time you bring it out, it'll be in perfect Mercury card fold. Whew. All right, so that's a lot to digest. So let's take a break for the mid episode giveaway. But before we get into this week's giveaway, we need to find out who won last episode's bundle. So drum roll, please. Congratulations, my friend. You're the winner of the last episode's bundle. So if you could email me just here, I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say, hey, Bo, I've liked this video or quicker than I could get my hand on that card. See what I did there? But also, thank you so much for liking the video. I really, really do appreciate it. And I can't thank you enough. Now onto this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the Javier and Lloyd bundle, all you need to do is comment below, what is your favorite card? That's it. Just let me know in the comment section below, whether it's the Queen of Diamonds, Three of Clubs, Seven of Spades, whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. And the next episode, I'll choose someone out at random and you'll be announced in that video. So good luck. Also, if you haven't checked out last week's episode of Stumped, make sure you do card on screen right now. Check it out straight after this episode. I break down absolutely everything you need to know about this incredible effect.
Now, for those that entered the slots playing card competition, we need to draw out the winners of their free decks. So congratulations to these three absolute legends. You're the winners of those decks. So make sure you email me just here and send in your address so I can get those prizes straight out to you quicker than you could actually screenshot those. I'm gonna talk about those lightning fingers that you have super, super fast. So congratulations to you absolute champions again. Well done. Now for those that also want to receive 20% off your slots playing cards, please head down to the link in the description below right now with a link to a magic shop, SoCal playing cards. We can pick them up for 20% off Make sure you use the code also in the description below and on screen we've got 20% off and an exclusive tutorial that will only be available when you get it through SoCal Playing Cards. Everyone's a winner. Now back to the breakdown. Now talking previously about the different volumes, what are in these volumes? What are you going to learn? Now because there is so much you're going to learn in Dex, I'm not going to go through all of the contents with you. Uh, you'll see that on screen right now. But Volume 1 kicks off with Dex, the Crash Course. Volume 2 is Card Tricks. Volume 3 is not a card index. Volume 4 is Collaborations. Volume 5 is Get the Most Out of Your Dex. Then winding everything up with some live performances. And then when I get taught Dex myself. So a lot. Now, one of my favorite routines taught on the explanational video is the brainwave version of Dex. It is exceptional. Now, also, I do want to mention that this should never be really performed as, hey, name a card and I'll reach into my pocket and pull it out because the layman will instantly think that you've got something funny inside your pocket. You don't want that kind of performance for your Dex, which is why the guys create so many different routines ranging from beginner to advanced and everything in between on uh, different ways to perform this. So the heat should never, ever be on your pocket. So just keep that in mind. Now, is Dex examinable? Well, no, it's an index. It's gonna be hidden in your pocket. You don't want people to see your utility device. But what do you pull out of your pocket or that deck that you hand to the spectator at the start for them to shuffle and use and examine, this is 100% examinable because it's just a regular deck and a regular card. Actually, on the tutorial in the live performances, there's a woman that has a dog and she wants to find out and examine the cards so much that she actually bites them to look and find something out, which obviously she doesn't because it's just a regular deck. Now onto the angles. What are your angles like? Can you perform decks surrounded? Well, actually, yeah, you probably could. With decks, you could actually perform a surrounded. Obviously, you're gonna need to cop and palm a card to bring it out, but you could, depending on you know, when you have your audience and when you bring it out of your pocket, if they're focused on the deck and they're shuffling it, no one's going to be watching your hand in your pockets coming out. And by the time you come up and have your arms folded or have it rested in a resting hand position, you could definitely uh, perform this surrounded. Actually, on that live Q&A, Javier does just that. He takes the card out of his pocket while turning around and no one saw anything on the video which was delicious. Okay, so that has been a lot of information. I hope that's been enough. So let's kind of wrap this up into a nice small package just for you. Dex is where you can have any card at your fingertips as fast as lightning. Now Ferrari don't make card indexes, but if they did, they would have created Dex. In layman's terms, a card index is like a Rolodex for a deck of cards that secretly hides in one or multiple pockets. It gives the magician the ability to secretly retrieve a named playing card and magically reveal the card from thin air or any other way that you wish. Now there are tons of indexes on the market, but Dex breaks away from the race and stands on a league of its own, and here's why. Normally an index will have one or two great features, but crucially at cost. For example, it's easy to use, but bulky. It's ultra fast, but split into two different pockets. This is why Dex is unique, in that it takes all the important features that magicians look for in index and combines them into one without any compromise. Dex is a full 52 card index that is not only light and quick, but is also designed to be razor thin so you can easily and seamlessly fit it into your skinny jeans pockets. Its intelligent form factor means that it appears like an ordinary small wallet. But there's more. There's no fumbling around. The entire core of the Dex system revolves around a unique no counting system that means from the moment the spectator names a playing card, the magician has already instantly located the value of the card in their pocket meaning that you'll be fully focused and able to do your performance instead of zoning out while you're fumbling around inside your pockets. It's designed to work using muscle memory. Right now, take a moment, think of a card and say it in your mind. The time it took for you to hear that sentence, 
Follow the instruction and lock a card is genuinely how long it takes you to find the card in DEX. Now created by Lloyd Barnes and Javier Fuenwire, DEX has been painstakingly designed and redefined over two years. Apologies to the tens of thousands of people that have been following the DEX production journey on YouTube the whole time. And honestly, it couldn't have come out better as together they've left no stone unturned. From its durable nature and clever touches that give DEX its wallet silhouette form factor, the flexibility, the thin nature, and even lightweight construction. Now, every single DEX is meticulously assembled by hand and is constructed using a wide range of different materials. All of these seamlessly blend together to give you the world's most powerful and more importantly, the most practical playing card index ever created. So with all that said, if you wanna see more on DEX, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $74.95 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. And again, I've mentioned this throughout the entire episode. I highly recommend going out and checking out the full Q&A that we did with Lloyd Barnes and Javier on YouTube, card on screen right now, and also linked below. Now that's it, I hope that answers all your questions for Dex. If you do have any more questions, please throw them in the comment section below. Use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now my friend, I will let you get back to your Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow on a What's New this week on Saturday for our Saturday Sorcery, or over there on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia games, hangouts, and even more. Now take care, see you later, bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there, you won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.